different levels, I can never relate. Mm -hmm. You never win if you playin' this, hey. Mm -hmm. It's all a game until you get played. You speakin' so loud with nothing to say. Are you cold this winter? Well, I've got the solution for you. We currently have new hoodies in stock if you're cold in winter. And we currently do have t-shirts for sale if you live somewhere and it's summer. And we also just released these new air fresheners, the Chaser air freshener and the Turbo Lance air freshener. These are all live now at bankyspec.com. If you want to help support the channel, if you want to help support the car builds, head over there. Bam! Let's get started with today's video. Okay guys, today we are working on my Holden BY Commodore. Yeah, it doesn't really look like a Commodore anymore, does it? It used to look like this, but since then we have been repairing it because we bought this car broken with the intention of fixing it, flipping it and making some sort of profit. At the end of the day, if we don't make money on it, We'll see. We'll see what we can do with this thing. I don't know what the plan is of it yet. Our new total is $2,174.50. I have jumped ahead and done a lot of work off camera. I've been welding this radiator support on. We're going to get right into this and I'm going to hopefully explain what I'm doing in detail. Unfortunately, this is a painstaking process. I need to drill out all the holes on the radiator support where the old tack welds would go so that we could fill these holes with some welds. And although we don't have the proper spot welding tool, we will be using a MIG welder, which will create even stronger welds and make this support connect to the car better than factory. Some of the metal where the radiator support mounts to was bent. So you can see me here tapping it back into shape. And then I mounted the fender properly to the new radiator support using the tabs on the old radiator support as you can see and everything bolted up perfectly. This was a very timely process and the footage that you see here was filmed over many hours. Little update for you guys, we've been going ahead and just tacking on everything. It's basically all done on this side. Have a look at that, it is solid as hell. That is not going anywhere and the headlight matches the fender All the body lines are nice when I close the hood So that's all perfect We just need to chuck the fender on this side And then the headlight to make sure everything's lined up Before we start tacking on this side as well With the passenger side's panels all lined up and fitted It's time to move on to the driver's side Surprisingly, as well as the passenger side The driver's side lined up perfectly Looks like the collision that this car was in was very minor Thankfully, because it could have been a lot worse Okay guys, we have the fender on and the headlight on now. We're going to close the bonnet to see if all the body lines match up. I am very nervous right now. Hmm. Here we go. No way. No way. <laughs> no way. Look at that. It's perfect. Holy moly. Bro, what the hell? Oh, it's actually perfect. Oh my goodness, I'm actually, I'm genuinely shocked right now. This is insane. Um, I kind of want to test fit the bumper as well, but look at that. Look at that body line. Look at that. Awesome. There's still a little bit of welding that we need to do, but this is crazy. I can't believe that we actually have got this all put together within such a small time frame. I'm going to test fit the bumper and see what it looks like. Did you guys see that uh, that Holden meme where it was like, Holden is an acronym where it's like heaps of loud, destructive engine noises. And I'm like, damn, that's pretty true. No way, dude. No way. No way, it's actually perfect. Dog got him yeah. Y'all don't fit in, call them all Cinderella's and I heard your last dog, you can do better. You ain't got sh on me, homie, that's facts. I just bought a new crib, I buy another for the tax. We ain't in the same league. The next morning I came back to assemble the car fully. I did this because I needed to get the car out of the garage for another project and I also wanted to see what the car would look like with everything back together on the ground moving by itself. I put the radiator back, connected up the power steering and the car has never looked better. How does it look, Peter?
All right, guys, we are back. The Holden Commodore is looking really nice right now. It's looking awesome. We actually took it around the block. We bled the cooling system and we also filled up the transmission with some extra fluid because obviously when you take out the radiator, you are draining all the uh, transmission fluid too. The thing is looking absolutely awesome right now. But there's one thing missing that's gonna basically get me a better price for the car. So I need to paint the S-Pack bumper. So the bumper that's on there currently is a POV spec bumper. We have an S-Pack bumper over there. Fresh, unpainted painted from factory. This bumper even came with a grill piece. So I need to paint that as well. And it came with a brand new Holden badge. Some of the sections don't get painted. Like I'm pretty sure this middle section here doesn't get painted. My friend Luca, person who did my turbo manifold on my Lancer, gave me a little write up on how to paint this really well. He did a really good job on one of his cars. So I'm gonna follow that. I'm gonna lay the paint, show you the final product and then tell you how I did it. If it turns out good. I began by taping up this section of the front bumper because this part doesn't get painted. Then I wiped everything down with isopropyl alcohol and then I decided to sand every bit of imperfection with 800 grit sandpaper. I then of course wiped everything down again and I began putting this primer on which was made specifically for plastic bumpers. Made sure to get that everywhere and then I started with the first base coat and it started to look really, really good. All right, guys, we have laid the base coat on. I just want to quickly show you the work we've done here. Um, it looks awesome. Like, honestly, I think if this doesn't turn out good, what the hell, man? Look at this. We um, have absolutely no runs at all in the paint. Um, I made sure to spend my time not trying to go overboard and make sure that there was no runs. And the thing looks awesome, man. Look at this, silver. Not a single spot has been missed. I'm going to make sure that... I try to not get any runs with the clear. The clear that we're using is a uh, 2K clear, which means that it's got a hardener in it as well. And this stuff is really hard to get right because for some reason clear is like extra runny than all other paint. Actually it kind of makes sense because there's like no pigment in it or anything. So we'll see how we go. I'm scared, I'm scared. All right, guys, we have laid the last two cans of clear on the bumper and it looks awesome. I am stoked. Look at this, guys. There is a nice deep reflection in the paint. I made sure to get coverage absolutely everywhere. You can see my reflection even on this side too. I made sure to focus most of my attention on the big parts, the big flat parts, because that's what you'll see the most. Look at that. Now there is a little bit of orange peel, but that's okay because we are gonna give this thing a cut and polish. Um, that took me about, I don't know, bit over an hour to do, but I am super stoked with the results. Look at that. I'm now gonna take the tape off this because that's pretty satisfying. And I think if I let it dry, when I peel it up, it might peel up the paint. So let's take all this stuff off. And guys, just like that, the bumper is done. Have a look at that. The bumper is looking awesome and it is now dry wow there's only been like 24 hours since i painted this thing so it's still going to be a little bit soft although we do have you know two pack clear so it is going to be harder than normal clear what we're going to do now is we're going to chuck this bumper on the holden that's right this thing's getting a new bumper Bumper bars on these cars are relatively easy to remove. There's not much holding them on. There are two plastic clips on each side of the bumper where it connects to the fender. All you need to do is give them a bit of a tug and then the rest of the bumper is held on by self-tapping screws. Installing the new bumper was a bit of a pain because it's fresh and it was a little bit harder to stretch than the bar that was already on the car. I eventually got the bumper fitting well and oh my God, it looks amazing. Guys, and just like that, the Holden is done. And holy moly, guys, this thing looks tough. This thing is actually a really nice looking car now that it has all the matching body panels and it also has all the panels lined up. The latching system should all work as well. There we go. And up she comes. Look at that. So guys, that concludes this episode. We are done putting all the body panels on. We've got the bumper all installed, the S-Pack bumper. We've got a new hood. We just need to wash it. In the next part of this series, 
We're going to be painting the top of the radiator support. We're going to finish off the welds. We're also going to give the entire car a nice clean, fix the back seat because that's broken as well. And we're going to list this thing on Facebook Marketplace and try to make a profit and see if flipping cars is a viable option of making some money on the side of your regular job. A lot of you guys always ask me if I'm a mechanic or not. No, I'm not. I'm just some dude that films working on cars. But anyone can do this. Anyone can do what I just did. We got some more juicy Facebook Marketplace videos coming up for you guys. I'm excited to share that with you. I look forward to the next video and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. So yeah, goodbye. Goodbye. So yeah. You got scammed. Lucky I didn't put my money into this one.